in some ways picky and in other ways not picky at all. I mean, in terms of, we weren't questions about access. For example, we didn't actually even insist on a fully Scottish cast. Um, and Julie Walters actually is, is uh, English. Um, but we were open to um, getting the essence of Scotland and not, not really making it literal in, in, in the performances because we really wanted the, the actors that could do the comedy, the heart, you know, the emotion, the act of the drama that we needed. If they had to be the right actors for the role, um, it happens that Billy Connolly, for example, he had the heft of a father figure with the humor and also the, the um, you know, the, the ability to play the action scenes. He had all of that, and he's a great Scottish comedian, right? So, you know, of course, all these, it's all those things. But if we hadn't gotten Scottish across the board, we would have still, you know, done the movie with them. Because you, can, you can get a dialect coach, but, you know, in order to, you know, play humor or play teenage, for example, you know, you have to have somebody who can really do that. Because um, the performance comes first and informs the character. Um, and, and Mark was really open to a range of Scottish accents. He's not, you know, he didn't say they all need to, because we talked about it like, well, if Billy's from Glasgow, you know, and Emma's doing sort of a Morningside accent, then what sort of accent should their daughter have? And, and, Bill, and Mark's like, who cares? It's not. Like, because he's like, you know, this is, um, there's a point where being too precious about every little bit of, of, of accuracy, it, it, it destroys any sense of fun in the movie. You know, we're still making, at the end of the day, it's a movie, it's a cartoon, it's a story, we have creative license. And um, there's such a diversity of accents in Scotland, you know, no two Scots sound the same. And even, um, even different Scots from Glasgow, like Craig Ferguson and Kelly, sound quite different. And Billy, and you know, he, he, they were all different. And all through Scotland, you hear every kind of accent. And so we decided to just go with it. And whatever we get, we get, um, as long as the performance is there. In terms of the, the pieces of Scotland itself, we were um, we really wanted to stay out of the big big cities, and you know, so we didn't even visit Glasgow and research we didn't go there until we were recording Robbie uh, toward the end of the production. Um, we started in Edinburgh because that was the big airport, and then we wanted to go to Edinburgh Castle to start because Edinburgh Castle gives you a good foundation for you know, the whole country. There's so much history there and a good museum. But as soon as we were done with that castle, we got out and went up to the Highlands. So we really were, um, we saw a lot of Scotland, but we focused on the Highlands and Isles of Lewis, um, Harris, and Skye because this was meant to be a rugged adventure tale um, and not a city story, you know. And, and it was meant to be, um, we really wanted to see castles that were overlooking, you know, cliffs and lochs or, 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 uh, or the sea. And we wanted to see the dark forests and the, um, the Caledonian pines and the Scots pines, and we wanted to be able to see Glen Affric and, and, the, and the rivers and streams there. So we had a, a hit list of environments that we thought we'd be using in the story, and we really tried to focus the trip to those things. 